If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we can create different renders from the same viewpoint by adjusting our focal length. Now, if we take a look at this scene with three Suzanne objects, all of different colors, we can see that they are all different distances away from our active camera. Now, if I press zero on my number pad to go into my active camera's view, we can see all three of our objects, but there is a minor issue. Our closest Suzanne object is currently clipping outside of our camera view. Now, one solution may be to select your camera and move it back. If we press zero, you can now see that all of the objects are now fitting within the borders of the camera view. But another method is to change the focal length. And this is in some ways a lot easier to do and can actually give you some better shots. So to change your focal length, come to the properties panel and then object data properties making sure that your active camera is selected. One of the very first options that you have is to change the focal length. Now, mine's currently set to 50 millimeters. What I'm going to do very quickly is I'm just going to reset my camera's location so that we once again have this clipping issue. So it's where it was before I moved it in our scene. If I adjust the focal length to make the value smaller, say 33 millimeters, you can see it's almost as if our camera zooms out. But the positioning of the camera remains the same regardless of the focal length. And you can actually see that we can really bring our camera's view out to display more of the scene. But in this example, there isn't really much to display at a focal length of one millimeter. Alternatively, we can increase the focal length beyond 50 to focus on a specific object. So in this instance, with a focal length of 163, the camera is fixed on our green Suzanne object. As a rule of thumb, a higher focal length value is for renders that focus on a smaller part of your scene or a singular object. A lower focal length value can be used for much larger scenes.